back in college, uh, one of one of my wife, my friends, uh, her mom was looking for a, a marrow match, and okay. so they petitioned, and uh, pretty much the whole school um, signed up, and that was five, six years ago. So I just kind of been on the registry and got the call and figured I, I would just, you know, if I was in the other position, I, I'd want somebody to donate for me. So, yeah, I had to uh, go through a fair amount of screening prior to any of this, and uh, you know, for me it took a couple months just uh, waiting and whatnot. But yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad of a process. Everything was really well organized incredibly efficient, so as an engineer, I appreciate that. <laughs> I think I had a series of five injections, so four days prior, okay. um, started just with some shots, and just to stimulate my white blood cells, and uh, caused the, the drugs so that I could be able to donate what was necessary. From a scientific point of view, it's, it's really fascinating that there's, there's a person out there for you that, that is or can be so closely matched. And, and I would recommend everybody get on the list just, just to know that either they could be a match for somebody or somebody could be a match for them. I think it's a great experience. I don't know, I didn't, I didn't really have very many fears. I kind of went into it knowing that if, if I was in that other position, I would want somebody to help me. So I figured it would, just, it would be helpful. And that's, that's a good thing to do. It's just a good feeling to know that you're helping somebody and really saving their life.